In what degree is pins with pendants and chains by more often? They tell us about the style of the woman dress. In some cases, the length of the needle of the pin is almost the same as the length of the shoulder, so it might be used to fix the shoulder line of the Roman period dresses with a woman round as a sex. It's on the left. In another case, the length of the pin is ident unidentified because being made of iron usually is totally rotten in the grave. But theoretically, it's possible that, for example, Byzantine style dresses that had tablet woven stripes in the grip as the braces, where it was possible to fasten a cloak on them with a pin so it should, shouldn't fall down, etc. We have one more version of fastening the pins as it is a Latvian national costume, but using two clothes. It's on the right. The shape of the bracelets let us understand the length and width of the sleeves. Must it know that the, the bracelets probably were put on the white and winded up on arm sleeves because it's problematic to wear them on the arms. That type of brass, bracelets were also found on the pearls in a girl's grave. It's not there. On the name garment, or fine textile striped bracelets were put on because they are more ergonomical, top right. Spiral or massive bracelets might have been used on the lengthened sleeves because this type of bracelet shortens sleeves to a more comfortable length. Besides, as practice has shown, long spiral bracelets are hard to put on the arms without being deformed, but they become easier if the sleeves are long. There is one type of adornments to which a practical function has never attributed. It's neck ring, so far it's believed that it's only a decoration indicated a well status of the weight. However, some types of neck rings let us assume about the function of fastening of the clothes. This assumption was possible because of the fiber, a neck ring, and a piece of textile around it. It should be noted that until the Middle Ages, adornments were made to a certain person according to his height and build. They suited on the head, neck, arms, and fingers. Even children put on smaller adornments adapted to their dresses. As we saw, ancient jewelry is not only a decoration for filling the whole costume. It's played a must, much more important role in the construction of these costumes. Among thousands of archaeological findings, whether they are adornments or weapons, despite the slightest uniformity specific to one or another chronological period, there are no two identical items. All differ in both size and ornamentation. Decoration and adornments, even the rings, contents of the big necklace many indicate uh, the ownership, ownership of a certain person. Thus, being a possession, possession of a certain person, they may have been recognized by others and used to prove an absent person the regret messages that they did. In the Middle Ages, the situation changed. Mass production items suitable for many different purchases turned up. Some of these items open and it rings, twin bracelets with the narrow ends that would have to make the size of a woman adjustable, smaller or bigger. Neck rings became white, spiral suited to anyone's neck. Another type of fastening clothes turned up the buttons. It shows that silhouette of the whole style costume and its structure started to change substantially. Thank you.